the first thing you have to talk about is the things that aren't dream sequences. And again, we made a really conscious decision, I did when I was directing the pilot, in, in order, we were making a show for 10 o'clock for adults. And here's your premise. There's this woman. She's a real woman. She's like a lot of women you probably see in your neighborhood at church or in the supermarket or at school. She has three kids. Oh, oh yes. Um, she talks to dead people. She dreams the future, and she can read your mind. That's a pretty far out there premise for adults. So I thought, in order to make that work, we need to present everything as sort of unadorned as we can, no glitz. Um, every room you walk in, maybe the bed should be unmade. Maybe there should be piles of clothes on the floor. Or maybe there should be anything that would reinforce the idea that this is real, 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 real. The camera's handheld. Um, the people, as I say, are dressed modestly. The kids behave gregariously the way kids do. Um, in contrast to that, these dreams that she dreams are phantasmagoric. The color's vivid. Uh, and, and in fact, she expressed, the dreams express themselves in different ways, in different episodes, in different idioms, based on whatever the, the thing is. So the, the experience of the show is actually rather unassuming. You know, it whispers. I, and the, the analogy I always use with writers is, um, because the show is, is very contemplative, not serene, but certainly it has a very deliberate pace. But if you, if you remember the experience of sitting around a campfire when you were a kid and hearing a ghost story, it was, it was that. It was very serene, it was very contemplative, and then somebody would go, boo! The boo only works in relief, in contrast to the things that surround it. So it's very rare on our show you don't see a ghost. There's no shimmers around anything. There's no, you know, we don't do any of that. And while we do quite a bit of special effects work, it's what I call invisible special effects. It's not there for you to go, how did they do that? It's there to make things happen that cost makes prohibitive and things like that. Um, putting people in places that you can't afford to go to the location, stuff like that.